What is up, my friends? Welcome back for another day of Momentum Mod Training. My name is Brandon. As always, I'm going to coach and guide you through today's workout brought to you by the Evolve System, a functional twist on traditional strength training using a single kettlebell. Yesterday's workout was a push style workout, and today we're going to do the opposite and perform a pull style workout. You're going to perform two different sequences of exercises throughout the course of today's WOD. The exercises in your first sequence will be as follows. You'll kick things off with a single leg deadlift and then move to two arm kettlebell swings. After that, you'll close out the first sequence with three rounds of deadlift to dead cleans. For the second sequence of today's workout, you'll be moving on to 20 repetitions of the deadlift, followed by lateral lunge kettlebell switches, and then once again, the deadlift to dead clean. For today's wad, a moderate to heavy kettlebell would be best. Grab it and get to it. We're kicking things off with a single leg deadlift, five reps each side. Good luck today. If you allow the kettlebell to swing too far away from the body during the upswing or downswing phases, the back may be put in a vulnerable position and power can be lost. Maintain shoulder engagement and allow the forearms to contact the inner upper thighs as the bell passes between the legs. The single leg deadlift takes a fairly linear exercise with a definite focus and turns it into a more dynamic, functional exercise. This variation requires more stabilization and control than its two-legged counterpart, which in turn will have more applications in your quest to becoming a more dynamic athlete on the mats.
The dead clean is an exercise of linear force production, the explosive transfer of force from your lower extremities and core to the upper extremities. Be mindful to keep the bell's trajectory strictly within the y-axis. There should be no horizontal translation of the kettlebell's movement. While the deadlift is not a ballistic exercise, the same principles that apply to the kettlebell swing apply in this instance. Maintain a braced core, a neutral spine, and hip hinge by sending the hips back with every repetition.
Incorporating a pulling, gripping base movement into this leg dominant exercise further adds to the functional value of the movement for Jiu Jitsu practitioners. Not only is it strengthening and mobilizing your lower extremities for improved dexterity and control, but it is also facilitating an increased ability to endure long bouts of isometric tension and muscular endurance required during grappling exchanges. When standing tall at the end of the pull of each repetition of the deadlift, make sure to continue to maintain a braced core while forcefully exhaling outwards. If you have access to a heavier kettlebell and really want to challenge yourself during this workout, now would be a good time to make use of it. Much like would be the case with two-handed swings, the deadlift to clean is intended to be a powerful exercise performed with significant weight.
All right, you've made it to the last set of today's workout. You know what it is, the final set of deadlift to dead cleans, 10 repetitions, and then you're done. I want you to make this your best set yet. Don't give up just yet. Let's push ourselves, 10 reps, let's go.